And I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but Ted could really sell a concept. And, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when, when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light, there were no limits. God, there were no limits. mystery you're building a colony ship it's obvious and it's not gonna fly i mean literally remember the odyssey that multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57 that went nowhere real slow and you have to get somewhere real fast uh, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time to be clear i'm not a worker on the project do you even understand how few people it could save the whole generation ship concept is is not going to happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. You people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. news and it's all true the pharaoh plague is devouring the biosphere life itself will cease to exist but does that have to be the end what if we could give life a future what if we could build a kind of seed from which on a dead planet life could blossom anew this is the aim the hope of project zero dawn to create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. 
how Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life, and then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo, the vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Destroyed, but then remade? Yes, by a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this for life, for us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? Why does it want to kill me? And... Apollo... The Archive of Knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead.
successor. Of course I'll do it. To be given the opportunity to rebuild what I... Uh, the, the, the damage that I... Well, I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margo, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It, it just told ourselves they were cut out for the BTRI cabals. But that's the, the better than rapid innovation. I, a better competing, better than the next guy, a, a better, better killing machine. Medical inaccessible. <laughs> Isn't it just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard to earn this, for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I... that there could be... Uh, atonement. If you're still nauseous. No, the inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this, but the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam, no, no. Life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back. Like Syzygy East, like the Congo. Like Timo. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family? I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. A habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Alpert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... Is he to make sure I behave this time? Security. For your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Surprised. No, flabbergasted. Like my old man would say, flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought... I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a spaceflight project. But now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist, a, a dangerous fantasist. This kind of blue skying, it, it's... Oh, Jesus! I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. What are you... You don't... Get your hands off me!
This might even the odds. Intruder! Get her! Ooh. We're under Ooh. attack! I'm looking for Zero Dawn. It is art, in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souvet? Christina Souvet? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in the auditorium, that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair, not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art, Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history, an echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day, I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute, and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor? Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero Dawn? No, ma'am, that ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'll be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too, just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. I hashed it out with them. What the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere 
Well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. For there to have been all this, and then... Nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot-blooded. Power's down. So I said I'll do it. Is there another route? I'll put my all in this, this, literally. Just need my focus. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. Counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe, anyway. Now this thing is dangerous. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. <sighs> there's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out.
Done. I should check the door nearby. This'll do. Found one. Looks intact. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. 